Good evening, YouTube. Brian with that source here, checking in on a Thursday night. Pretty quiet out here. Uh, we're down here getting pretty close to some springtime weather in southeast Texas. I think we may have a few more, uh, few uh, uh, spats of maybe cold weather, but I don't think we've got much coming up. So tonight uh, I'm going to be continuing my series on featuring some new old stock Corvette parts that I have. And if you'll check a video I put out a few days ago, I've got a set of uh, new old stock. Uh, 35th anniversary Corvette floor mats that are white, or I'm sorry, black with the white piping and Corvette embroidered. Now this is also a new old stock set of uh, floor mats. These are from another special edition Corvette. This is from the 40th anniversary. So I briefly mentioned these, uh, or the 40th anniversary cars in my last video. And uh, these floor mats basically are a reflection of the color of what the 40th anniversary Corvettes were. They were a ruby red car and literally almost everything on the car was this ruby colored red or a dark maroon color so your door panels your seats your carpet your floor mats um and the dash was pretty much the only thing that was black but even the interior halo trim panels or the plastics in the car were all a ruby red color specific to this car <clears throat> the outside of the car was the same ruby red with the belt molding was uh, ruby red uh, it had chrome uh, emblems on it versus the regular black with the uh, the flag design on it and I believe it actually did say 40th inside the emblem so it was a pretty special car a uh, little bit a lot of red for me dark red I do like red on red torch red cars this is just a much deeper kind of a burgundy shade and you can see it's kind of a fancy uh, if you can kind of see that but these are a new old stock uh, set of floor mats from these cars unfortunately I don't have the box left with these uh, but as you can see as I'm going across them, they're absolutely new condition like the 35th anniversary floor mats I had the other day. The interesting thing about the GM floor mats is you can see this uh, line here across this raised lip. And this is actually kind of important because some of the cheaper low-end floor mats that are just repos or um, you know stuff you're going to throw in the car, they might be cut right for a Corvette, but they don't have this upper ridge. And these are a little bit different on the back side than the other uh, floor mats I'd featured before. They've still got the, the raised nipples to keep them in place, but they don't have the typical uh, individual GM part numbers like they did before. That GB2 actually shows you that that was um, sourced from uh, a General Motors supplier uh, on this side here, I believe. I believe we got, yeah, the GB1. So again, if you remember, I was talking last time about left side being odd, uh, right side being even numbered kind of things. That same thing applies here. This just shows a patent number. So, and again, the, the design is a little bit different. I think what they did here was try to keep, you can see this is actually a raised portion in here. What they tried to do, I guess, was keep uh, the water um, maybe in a channel like a rain gutter. I'm not sure what they were thinking when they did this, but these actually have really good adhesive quality. The one thing actually that is different too is they don't have the um, Velcro strip on the back like the earlier floor mats do. So that might have been inherent in the design and how they kept them from moving around or scooting. Because with all these raised um, nipples here, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They'd actually dig into the nap pretty good. So um, these are in brand new shape, like you can see. Very nice. I've got these available for sale. So if you have an interest in them, you can give me a call always. My number is 832-654-7367. As a reminder, I have been doing this, selling nothing but Corvettes and Corvette parts for about 20 years now. So I uh, obviously enjoy what I'm doing. And uh, if you got any questions or want some more information about these, give me a call. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys next time. Thanks again for checking in.